Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is example 20 of how I organize a digital marketing strategy. Now, this time we're doing the first update, version two of South Georgia Lube Center, which is actually in Fitzgerald, Georgia and in Osceola. And I focused on Osceola previously. This time I'm focusing on both. Brick and mortar are supported by the digital version. Now, this is from the first time that's November 7th of 2018 is when example four came out. And the point of this strategy is that an ounce of strategic planning saves a pound of your resources. How I organize a digital marketing strategy, the current version, as of yesterday, <laughs> I'm using six steps. First off is research. Second is we put together and maintain the digital foundation. Third, we address the audience for the brand. A direct relationship is what we're looking for between brand and their own audience. From there, we qualify prospects and disqualify, obviously, as well, right? You have a plan for the prospects because you're going to now make them an offer, right? And you want to make a contextual offer. And the goal, obviously, being that they become customers. And then lastly is campaigns because you have to have a way to get attention and keep attention. So we start with research. This is an unresearched example. However, the point of the initial research is to put together a SWOT chart and that strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats specific to the brand. From there, a strategy is a plan of action to achieve an overall aim. So the customer point of view is singular, always going to wanna to maintain it for that individual point of view from their singular perspective every time. And then the pressing problem that they have. So the first thing I do is Google it. And as you can see, South Georgia Lube, entire Fitzgerald, Georgia, there isn't a website for that. However, they are on Yellow Pages and MapQuest and Google has 17 reviews for them and Facebook has three votes with a five out of five rating. So some of the questions, some of the reports could be more, could be less. It just depends on each individual context. But once again, we're putting together a living document, right? And part of that living document is the strengths and weaknesses, the opportunities and threats, which you're going to want to update over time. So the goal of this strategy, build an audience and organize a two-way conversation between South Georgia Loop Center and people in specifically looking at Fitzgerald, Georgia and Osceola, Georgia. So how will they build an audience? It's by creating their own media, full stop, the end, so to speak. And the customer point of view, once again, people around the area. And it's a two-way digital conversation. So they're creating media to get attention and keep attention. And what I would do is document it on their drift.com timeline. Because Drift.com is how the email as well as the live chat would be conducted. And with Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R.com, you're able to pipe in all these other actions that people may take in interacting with your brand and put them all onto that same timeline so that you can contextually look at each individual and just try and get to know them better to make a better offer provide better service, keep them longer, et cetera. And the pressing problem is in this instance, it's a tire and loop center. So tires, car maintenance, but it, adding on a level of additional digital service by incorporating the smartphone, which plays out through the website. You don't have to have an app or anything. I mean, you could in the future if you wanted, but there's no need to, to start. Just have the website be the best possible experience, regardless of what screen a human being decides to interact with the website from. So how can they relieve the pressure? It's through the smartphone. The digital foundation is the second step. I break it down into three parts, website, online store, media archive. So the digital office is the website, right? It's the Sound Georgia Loop Center, that brand with two locations, it's their domain name online in every single page or post or any URL that they create off of that domain is part of their brand. So the way that I break down the website is I start with the homepage, the Genesis theme, 
because it allows me to put together the foundation of a website very quickly and you know have it visually appealing right so the homepage widget areas there's a handful of them that you can use or out of that i probably use three or four every time in order to lay out the message on the home page and i want people to be able to on the home page sign up for an account as well as check their account so and then the navigation menus i put them at the top and the bottom and then make sure that all those pages are populated to begin with and you're up and running and then you can add a bajillion pages from there if you want to so here's the working demo and you'll see a green button on jasonhomsllc.com forward slash example dash two zero twenty and this is the very top of it and i just threw this together that's a screenshot from google drive by i and that's the one in oscilla there's a second one which is in fitzgerald and on this home page when you log in you can register there if you want as well just by giving an email address to get started and if you log in there it displays the entire account for you and it's in tabs so you there's a bunch of information that's available and each individual brand is able actually to modify those tabs so that they're relevant to their customers because the whole point of it is to provide a really good experience right we just want people to be able to get what they want when they want it how they want it so the digital store and we want to give them friction free access to buy including through mobile right that's comprised of your digital catalog you're going to lay out your products you're going to it's going to include some woocommerce plugins probably some premium as well as the ones that are included with the liquidweb.com beginner plan or if you start higher there's even more included and then you have the jilt card abandonment process when people come into the sound georgia loop center store right and they're deciding to buy something if they put it into their shopping cart and they go life happens and they go away after 30 minutes Jill, that system will step in and say, okay, this has been abandoned and we're going to send them an email at three different time intervals from this point. And the idea being that life happens, help them get their purchase and complete it, right? And so here's the shop. And I showed one example that's in the working demo to begin with. I'm going to add some more over time, but that's the Yeti coffee cups. And as you can see in the picture, they have a lot of different options. So allowing people to choose exactly which one is possible with uh, WooCommerce, no problem. So media archive on land that sound georgia lube center owns the media archive it's the website you have the the video area the audio area the written and images area and you just want people to be able to find what they want when they want it through whatever device they want to use so this is a screenshot of my blog that's darcy behind me my cat provider and you can see there's a pioneer graphics which was example 19 and then Community Bank of Fitzgerald, which was example 18. And yeah, there's 19 and 18 again. Okay, so third is the audience. And I break it up into three parts. First, we have the media plan. And there's two steps as far as I want to teach people how to fish, not sell them a bunch of fish, right? So the way that I approach that, and this is from experience, is let's start by being clear about one thing. And I, you know, look them in the eye and be real clear that look deep breath and be yourself period full stop that is the the guiding principle in every step of this journey so to speak so because the media that you're creating and the voice that you're going to use with it and the etc that's all based off of being yourself a calm relaxed take a deep breath and be yourself so in this instance we document the south georgia loop center story and i just start with their origin story and then start telling the conversation telling the story excuse me over time and then from there 
commit to a weekly list of media deliverables because you have to commit to it because you're going to have to show up over time in order to actually build that audience. And you can accelerate the timeline by doing some paid stuff as well. So the second part of how I explain it is that you focus on your customer. That's the other kind of guiding principle. Just when you're making decisions, deep breath, be yourself and focus on your customer. And so document answers to the questions that customers are already asking the center staff over day in and day out over the past however many decades. And then on top of that, you want to create all three. So focus on your customer, give them whatever version of media that they want. So it's video, audio, and written. Consistent, committed action. In order to focus on your customer, you have to be able to show up consistently and they have to take you at your word. So the next part is the media creation, which it really boils down to process in my estimation. So I focus on all three forms of media. And the way that I do that is I create a video where I really create a slide deck version. So there's kind of four forms, I guess you could say. So I create that slide deck and then I create the video version, which I'm able to extract the audio version. And then I'm also able to create a written version out of that as well. Now, it's all about attention. When you're creating media, talk to one person each time. It, it, today with technology, et cetera, and the way that innovation's accelerating, it allows you to actually pull it off, so to speak. You're able to take, start kind of scaling things that are quote unquote unscalable. So let you know how successful it is or not, but you know that's what I'm starting with is talk to one person each time and get better with experience. That's another thing to keep in mind. Repetition and experience, they're going to make you better at what you're doing. So, and you don't wanna just keep doing the exact same thing every time. You wanna iterate the process. You wanna learn and understand. Let the, let the people speak, let the market dictate the value. So, once again, those are the slide decks that I create in Google Slides. That's for my G Suite for JasonHobbsLLC.com. I'm using Soapbox by Wistia to create these. You can see the different examples there. I have the pro version, so it allows me to download the MP4 file and upload that into, I use iMovie to do some light editing. And then from there, I'm able to distribute it. So the idea is to iterate your creation process. This looks very general. I understand that, but you gotta start somewhere. And the end result is the key. Anytime that you create a, a process that's going to create something, you have to actually create and share that, ship it, if you will, put it out there for the world. So the idea is plan the video, shoot the video, edit the video, publish the video, which I consider that to your website. That's you're going to use it to both get and keep attention, but you're going to publish it on your website and distribute that video to other places and do it natively. So specific to LinkedIn. So if you're going to put a video upload it organically, it's going to need to be under 10 minutes, right? And then you would do the same thing respecting each of the different platforms. If you're doing Snapchat or Instagram or whatever, from there, you're going to promote the video and that can be some paid promotion and that can be, you know, joint ventures or agreements or affiliate arrangements or whatever. The media distribution though, give the people what they want, where they want it, how they want it, every time they want it. So that's my approach. So the prospects is the fourth step. And I break that up into two pieces currently. The digital offer for those that are qualified, and I'm, we're gonna try and make it a contextual digital offer. And then, and we're going to iterate it over time, right? And then number two is the customer attention life cycle. So the digital offer consists of, as opposed to the four Ps of industrialized marketing back in the day, we're talking about digital. And I break that up into solution access, value, and education. What do I mean by that? So example solution is that every car and truck and large vehicle and whatever it has to be serviced, oil, lube, filter, tires, et cetera. And you, they need to be rotated and on a schedule, et cetera. So that's the solution that I would propose in my unresearched example that South Georgia Lube Center offered through their website. So people can access it through their smartphone. Well, any screen that they want, it's just, it's digital, it's online. And 
the access for me is the home page that's the goal to start now there's it's going to be all different places that people can come in but the foundational interaction we start with on the home page and we build out from there so the value is less to worry about save time saved that's a big win for people and that's something to really talk about in the education portion which is where we would I would have them, and on, again, on research, paint the picture of exactly how the experience for customers plays out. Let them picture it in their mind and, and see if they have what kind of feelings it you know, brings up for them. Because it's going to make them feel good. They're going to feel good about the idea of there, somebody from South Georgia Loop Center is going to now come pick up their car and take it back and service it or come and service it there or whatever just depending on how and again unresearched example but the idea is here's the problem there's definitely a solution that can be a profitable solution for south georgia loop center in my mind so customer life cycle is four parts they start out as the stranger nobody knows anybody as a stranger everybody's a stranger but then some become an audience member and because you know south georgia wouldn't be making this media for just nothing right they're not just burning money and it's a direct relationship through that media so the qualify the prospects make them a contextual offer cater to the customers so the customers is the fifth step and the customer conversation and customer feedback loop is the currently kind of how i break that up the idea is that it's a two-way conversation between equally respected parties relate to people. You want them to relate to you. You want the kind of break the ice. When we used to go door to door back in the day, you know, that was a big thing was you have to break the ice with people, relax them so that they'll relate to you. And you want to be helpful. You want to segment customer points of view and you want to so that you can speak to them specifically because they're this individual point of view that has these feelings on this different subject or whatever, right? Some specifics to be able to speak to them contextually, either through live chat or on the phone or email, whatever. And the idea is to qualify prospects and make them contextual offers. Now the customer conversation, I would just tentatively break it up into live chat, email, video calls, as well as phone and then at the center, you know, in real life, brick and mortar. So the customer feedback loop, email each customer asking on a scale of one to 10, how likely are they, to share South Georgia Lube Center. And that would be what we call an NPS score, net promoter score. And so you send them that NPS question. I use gatherup.com and people that click a reply of one to eight are put into what I would refer to as a customer service queue to win them back, so to speak. And then nines and tens are thanked possibly bribed if you want, and then invited to share their thoughts publicly with shortcuts. So just click this button, it's gonna take you there and let you as yourself, logged in as yourself to that platform, give us a testimonial. So number six is campaigns. I have three categories currently, getting attention, which happens everywhere but your website, keeping attention, which happens your website, your store, as well as your email and your live chat, just however people pay attention to you, where they initiate the contact, that's part of your keeping attention. And administrative is administrative. So an example of the get attention, I would start typically with an origin story, get started with a video telling the story about South Georgia Lube Center. They have two locations. They had to either start with one or did they open both at the same time? Was it, it was something that grew over time and that they expanded or was it something, a big stroke of, off the, the top that so they launched two and you know really hit the ground running or what? <clears throat> so keep attention, the email, I would make it easy for customers to just have a conversation. Anytime they reply, have people that are scaling the unscalable, so to speak, to where South Georgia Lube Center is just super responsive between the hours of operation. So if that's, it could be 24 seven at some point with some places that would want, but it, it could be 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, but super responsive in a you know, Saturday morning or something, it's just super responsive. When the doors are open, digital, they're just all over. They have a staff for that, so to speak, just like they have a, a 
section of, you know, and it doesn't have to be a bunch of people. It can be one, two or three. It just, you know, to get started, depending on your resources and your goals and you know, so forth. So the local citations would be an example of an administrative campaign, two to five bucks a profile through brightlocal.com. They have what's called a local citation builder service. And what it means is Sound Georgia Lube Center would be able to put all of their information, their logo and their name and address and phone number and images and a gallery of images and videos and links or whatever. And Bright Local would go to each different profile and make sure that all the information was filled in properly for that brand, South Georgia Loop Center. All right, so what's next? How I organize the digital marketing strategy, example 21 will be coming Welcome to 2019. Happy New Year to you and yours. And Thursday, January 3rd of 2019, I'll be releasing example 21. All right. So if you have questions, Jason at jasonobsllc.com. There's my smartphone. Feel free to give me a call. Leave a message because if I don't know the number, I'm not going to answer. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And feel free to text or you know, whatever. And uh, yeah, have a great one.